Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video on the Casual Racing Gamer. Today, I am gonna be helping out you guys that are like driver rating E, driver rating D, driver rating C, even low Bs. These tips I'm gonna be sharing with you are gonna help you move up to at least like a middle B. That That's where the good racing actually starts. And now, I get a lot of comments from a lot of you guys saying, um, you know, you can't move up. And, and a lot of it's always blaming other drivers why you can't move up in their bad driving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to an old account. When I first started GT7, I started on my son's, um, my son's account, my place, his PlayStation account. So this is not my regular account. And this, this driver rating on this account is, is like a mid C. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to hop into a mid C race. I, I didn't qualify. So I'm going to start in the back and I'm going to show you guys how you can, Keep moving up in better places, even when you have a lot of bad drivers in your race. So we're starting here in P14. Now, I am generally um, like a low A, high B driver. That's usually where, where I hang around um, when I'm driving. And that's like usually where I feel comfortable driving with drivers in that, in that range. And just to be clear here, it's not going to be my speed, okay? So some of you guys might not have the speed I have, and I am not fast, guys. Trust me, I'm not fast. I'm a casual. I am still a casual sim racer. I improved a lot from when I first started, but I'm still a casual sim racer. I am still not great. I never you know, have a claim to fame that I'm this wonderful sim racer. I am totally not. But I use a lot of strategy that it helped me move up, even when I was a little slower, that helped me move up in the rankings and just help me improve overall with my driving ability. So this is coming from a casual race. This is not coming from a pro driver with pro tips that a lot of um, a lot of more inexperienced drivers can even understand. So I'm coming at you with, you know, straight up strategy from, from a casual sim racer. So we're starting in P14. And in this race, you can see the driver ratings are all over the place, okay? This isn't all just like S-rated drivers. So I am racing in this race with a bunch of bad, probably bad safety drivers, right? So we we are going to have to take that all into account. And I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking as I'm going through this race, trying to trying to move up place by place by place, right? So I'm starting in P14. Now, again, I, I I'm know I'm pretty going to be faster than a lot of the guys in, in a C, in a C lobby right now, but that's, doesn't mean that I can still move up with no problem. I still have to be cautious and I'm going to use the same strategies, even if you're slower than me, that you should be using to help you get better places. So don't look at me how many places I move up in this race. Your goal should be to at least move up a place or two or three or four. But if you're starting back at like P14 or mid pack, don't expect to win the race. The point is to just finish better. So one thing I'm going to say is definitely if you're not like a top level driver, don't worry about picking the, the 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 meta car all right stick with a car that you're comfortable with so i'm in the mclaren i love the mclaren i can throw it around really comfortable good grip and i'm comfortable in this car it might not be on the top of the leaderboards but i can drive it drive it well and and i want to be in a car that i can drive well feel comfortable and not worry about losing the car myself because the big thing is you, you can't beat yourself if you want to do better than other drivers so starting in p14 i'm already like so in my head i'm thinking I'm, I'm already watching what cars in front of me are doing. Coming into lap one here, and, and lap one, lap turn one, I mean, and turn one on any race is if there's cars close behind you, first of all, don't ever run, don't overrun turn one. Don't ever overrun turn one. Always brake earlier, right off the start of a race. If you have cars that are close behind you, see here, I didn't have to worry about it. I didn't have any cars on my tail. So my whole thing is moving up right now, not worrying about what's in back of me. But if you have cars on your tail, go to the inside, go to the inside, take it nice and slow and get out of turn one as quick and easy as possible. So here it is, right? We're just driving and two cars just, you know, threw themselves off. So we already gained two places. We're already, we're already ahead of the game right now. So now we're gonna focus on moving up car by car by car by car. This guy runs wide. Okay, we're going to let him back in. We're not going to, and you know, he came back in. I gave him a little tap. I, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to give him the place because, I, you know, I did bump him from behind. Now he did come back onto the track, but I'm not going to try to overtake him now. I'm not going to be overly aggressive. It's a four lap ra race. It's lap one. And I'm going to pick off my cars one by one by one. I'm not worried about having the fastest lap. I'm not worried about being the quickest car. I'm not worried about winning the race. I just want to get better, fit, be better finishes than where I start. And we're already there. So now I'm going to worry about P11. So I'm, I'm going to race P11 and see how he is. A lot of guys in the lower lobbies are going to do exactly what you see here. 
they're gonna run off the track they're gonna overdrive turns so you have to be really good and, and yeah just passing by a car right here get hit from behind but that's fine because i can still you know keep control of my car i didn't go crazy i didn't get nervous i didn't spin my wheel we kept cool there i knew that car was gonna ghost went through him we're already in p9 we haven't even done anything right we haven't even really raced to out overtake any cars yet and we're in p9 just from that simple start of staying on the track taking my turns nice and easy didn't overdrive anything like all the cars in front of me. A lot of cars are going to overdrive, especially in the lower lobbies. That's going to be a big mistake of yours that you're going to you're going to overdrive. So make sure you guys are not overdriving. So now we have P8. We see P8, P7, P6. We have all these cars in front of us. So we're in range here. Again, coming into a chicane here, we don't want to overdrive. Always think in your head, don't overdrive. We have two cars, P8 going wide, seven and eight bat on there. So we just took another spot. Just like that, we're in P8. We haven't even done anything really, right? I, you, I haven't been doing any like, hey, you're just an awesome sim racer. Then you, that's why you're at P8. No, I'm just racing the track consistently on lap one. We have a car spin out there. And this is why I say lower lobbies, as long as you're consistent, as long as you drive well, as long as you know what cars around you are doing and, and you're not looking to pass two, three cars ahead of you, you're only looking at the car in front of you. You just need to pass one car at a time. So here we go on the straight, right? We're gonna come to P6, we're gonna come here. We're gonna try to move in the middle. We're gonna see what these cars are doing. Are they gonna pull over, try to block us? No. Um, Danny's gonna pull over. It's gonna stay, kind of pull over. I'm like, okay, so I don't want to ram him here. So I'm gonna kind of slow down. I'm gonna give him the. I'm gonna give him there. I'm gonna give it there. I'm not gonna try to make my move here. Okay, I'm not gonna try to pass him there. Could I have passed him there and be aggressive on that turn? Yes. Was it necessary? No, because I'm putting myself at risk. Right? I don't want to put myself at risk. He has a half of second penalty. If I stay on his bumper, I'm gonna pass him by the time we get to his penalty. But can I pass him sooner? Uh, if I can, I will, but I'm not going to be aggressive to pass it soon. I'm already in sixth place, guys. So if you, if you move up that many places in a race, you don't want to be overly aggressive. You're looking for a good finish, a bad a bad shot here or, or throwing yourself off the track or doing something wrong is going to throw you all the way back for no reason because you're always, you know, everyone just wants to win, wants to win, wants to win. When I race, it's not about winning. It's about finishing better than where I started, moving up in places, getting good finishes. We started in P14 and we're in P6. That, 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 that's a great day already, right? I, I can just retire here and just sit here, be comfortable. But we're going to follow through here, right? We're coming down. We know he's going to be slowing down. We know we can get some speed here. We lose the back end, okay? I did catch it. We lost the back end. That was the spot where I know I could have I could have really... I lost a lot of time here, right? That's a big spot where you don't want to lose time. I lost time here, but I, I didn't let it get to me. I didn't, I didn't, again, I, I just worried about keeping control of the car when I lost the car and not over, over correcting to lose the car. I just wanted to get grip and get back on because I still have a couple more laps to catch up to guys, right? So if you guys spin out, if you guys do something incorrectly, don't be aggressive in over correcting the car. Just wait till that car gets the grip. And once you can just go back into it, if you lose a spot or two and there's cars close to you, lose the spot. Don't be overly aggressive and overcorrecting. So Danny kept his spot even with the penalty. So we have five, four, and P3 in front of us. We're on lap three or four. We have two laps to catch these cars. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm looking at how these other cars in front of me are driving. If I'm seeing how aggressive they are, so if I go to a pass one of these cars, I'm going to know, are they a clean driver? Are they a dirty driver? If they're a dirty driver, I'm not going to want to pass them when they have the opportunity to actually take me out. So we're coming in here on the straight. This is where we're going to get a lot of speed always. You know, they're battling here. They're pushing. They're bumping. He's swerving. Um, I, I know I'm going to pass Danny here. I know Danny's a good driver, right? I've been driving with him that whole lap. I know he wasn't going to bump me there. Unfortunately, he got hit by P4. So I got to watch the cars in front of me right now. I know P4 is a little wild here. I can see him wobbling all over the place. So I got to be careful if I'm going to try to pass P4. So I'm going to try to inside. He went to the inside. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to take the outside. I don't think he's going to come and bump me on the outside. Even if he's a dirty driver, that's not going to be good. He did try to come in front of me there and I'm slowing down because I'm I'm expecting, right? I'm 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 kind of expecting try trying trying to trying to think what what is this car going to do when they see me? So if I see he's going to come in front of me, I'm going to slow down before he can even get to me. And there he goes, he makes a mistake without me be without me being overly aggressive to pass him. These guys are going to make mistakes. That's why I don't always overtake 
when, when you're near a car. Don't always just think you need to overtake them because you're close. I'm, all, I'm on his bumper. Like, I'm going to try to overtake him in the next turn. I don't drive like that. Sometimes I'll just stay on someone's bumper until I feel like, all right, we're going to go here. We're going to go here. We're going to have a good move here. And we're going to get a good exit. And I feel like I can take them here. Uh, again, we moved up so many places that, that it's just not worth it's not worth mistakes at this point. And, and that's why I say a lot of you people, are, a lot of you guys, a lot of you drivers are beating yourself. Other drivers are not beating you. Um, we're coming in here. I'm, 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 I'm checking up off my, off my accelerator. I'm checking up here. I'm, I could have kept pedal to the metal trying to pass Mo on here because he's driving slower than me, but I'm checking up here. I'm not, I'm not pushing it. I'm not trying to pass him when we're both going at top speed where one little move to the side and he's gonna just spin me out. So again, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using strategy here. I'm, 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 I'm navigating through. I'm seeing what cars in front of me are doing. Do I want a P3 right here? I do want a P3. And we have one lap. If we have a good move on Mo, who's gonna be in front of us, we're gonna take it. We're gonna take it. But if we don't have a good move, we're not gonna take it. But the whole time that we're driving, again, is. I am analyzing all the cars in front of me and we're only worried about, and we have a good straight here, right? We, we just had a much better exit there um, through that something, uh, I, 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 the Rouge, the Rouge turn there, the, the yeah, that, that one over there. So we had a good exit out of that. We had the speed. Mo let us go. Cars in front. Now, cars, you know, top, top, um, top five, top three. Usually those guys are probably going to be more clean drivers if you're already battling up at the front generally speaking right because they're probably going to be the faster drivers in the front and they're usually more skilled and most likely and hopefully they'll be a safer driver or you can you know navigate through a little bit better but again i am always analyzing how those cars are driving in front of me before i get to them to go for a pass i already know is this guy going to be dirty is he going to be clean when he was racing against someone else, was they side by side? Were they going clean? Did he try to knock them off the track? If it's someone that tries to knock someone off the track, I have to be really strategic how I'm going to pass that car. And it's not going to be on a straight. It's going to be on some kind of turn when I can get to the inside and get out really quick, where he doesn't even have the have the opportunity, but he doesn't even have the opportunity to catch me, to hit me, because I'll be gone so fast, and he's just going to either run wide or just grow off the track or something. So, knowing where to make your moves is the most important thing here. Picking cars off one by one by one. If you're starting in P14, your first goal is to get into P13. So P13 is the car you have on your on your mind, in your sight, and that is the car you need to take out, to, to not take out, but you need to pass first. Once you pass P13, then you're looking at P12. How's P12 driving? Again, one car by one car by one car, and if you guys just do these simple things, avoid, don't always worry about being overly aggressive. Don't worry about having to pass everybody at the first opportunity. Wait for the opportunity to be perfect for you to make the pass, especially in lower lobbies. So you, so you don't need to blame other drivers for driving dirty or driving bad. Don't go side by side with someone if you know that they're a dirty driver. Stay behind them stay behind them. Yes, it might sound counterproductive if you want to move up in a race, but if they're going to take you out and just throw you off the track, you're going to fall back. If you stay behind them, you're going to stay in that spot at least. And again, when you have that opportunity to take it out, to move in front of that car, wait for the perfect opportunity where they won't have the choice, where they won't have the opportunity to take you out. Now, other cars might be gaining on you, but let those other cars try to pass that dirty driver and he'll take them out. And if he takes them out, he'll lose control and you'll have a nice opening. So always think strategically, always think one car at a time and make sure you're analyzing every car in front of you. And I promise you, you will move up. If you are, are, are a E rated driver, I think there's E, I think, right? I think it starts at E, a D rated driver, a C rated driver. These tips are going to help you move up. You really want to get to that B level Mid B is really good driving, good racing, you know, and and get that safety rating, keep it at an S. But even even then, it, there's still dirty drivers at an S, so it doesn't really matter. Just drive as clean as you possibly can. 
be respectful of other drivers, even if they're not respectful of you and you will move up. You won't get as frustrated. You'll be happy. And hopefully this video helped you out. And, you know, just a casual racer like I am, I hope to help out other casual sim racers who just want to improve, do a little bit better. And um, these are just some simple tips that, that can help you out without actually getting into, you know, driving technique to get faster and better. This is just simple strategy when you're on the track to help you improve against dirty drivers and just moving up in your DR rating. So hopefully it helped you out. Thumb up the video, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. We out of here. Peace.